Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to boot a VirtualBox VM from a USB flash drive. Uh, a lot of times you want to do that to maybe install an operating system or uh, run some kind of utility. And normally in VirtualBox we're used to booting from ISO files or from your actual DVD drive itself. But um, unfortunately they don't make it super easy to boot from a USB drive without doing a little bit of tweaking here is what we're going to do today. So right here I have my VirtualBox VMs folder where I keep my VMs, so we're going to get back to this later. So, But the first thing we need to do is, well actually the first thing you need to do is to create a bootable flash drive. And if you don't know how to do that, you could use a free utility called Rufus. Um, and it makes it really easy to create a bootable flash drive with whatever, whatever you want on it. And so um, in, in the description here, we're going to have a link to a write-up which will tell you about Rufus and all kinds of other stuff. And help you along here. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to find the, the disk number for this flash drive that we have inserted here. So we're going to boot to a Windows 10 flash drive. So to do that, we need to open disk management. The best way to do that is just to do a search for it. And if you see this thing that says create and format hard disk partitions, that's it. And that'll open up. And it'll show you, you know, all your drives that you have on here, your C drive and any other drives and CD-ROM and that kind of thing. So I'm going to scroll down to this Win 10 F drive, which is my flash drive. And you can see here it says disk 4, so that's what you need to make a note of. And then once you have this information, we're going to have to run a command to create this virtual disk based off this, or I should say that points to this uh, USB flash drive. So to do that, we need to open a command prompt. So easiest way to do that, once again, is do a search, CMD. But you need to run it as an administrator. So once you find the CMD here, right-click on it, choose Run as Administrator, and then you'll be good to go. So now next, we need to navigate to the installation directory for VirtualBox. So if you left the defaults when you installed it, then you should match what we have here. Otherwise, you're going to have to go find it. So I have my little cheat sheet here. So I'm going to copy, so I don't have to type it in paste in this just so I can navigate to that directory. So now I'm in that directory. And then the next thing we need to do is here's our command, which will be in the write-up, by the way. So one of the things you need to change is the location where you want to have this uh, BMDK USB drive, I guess you could say, created. And then also this number four here, you'll need to change to match what you had here in disk management. So I'm going to create this file, CMDK file, in my VirtualBox VMs directory. Now I put quotes around it because I have a space, so if you don't have a space, you don't have to use the quotes. And I'm going to call it USB. And so I'm going to copy this command here. Right-click and paste it in there and run it. It says it's created successfully. Now if I go back here, you can see here's my USB VMDK file. So next, we need to go into VirtualBox Manager and assign this USB drive to a VM so I can boot off of it. And what I'm going to do is create a new VM um, because I want to install Windows 10 from this flash drive. You could also attach this to an existing VM as a secondary drive or as a USB you know, bootable drive and boot it from there if you're going to run some utilities or whatnot. So to do that, we need to open up VirtualBox. And to do that, we need to do the same thing, run it as administrator. So find your icon or search for it, right click it, run as administrator. Okay, so I'm going to do a new VM. You know, you've done this before. I'm just going to call this uh, USB VM. VM. And I'm going to change my location to where my other VMs are. There. Okay, and then, you know, pick your operating system. We'll do Windows 10, since it's a Windows 10 flash drive. Do your memory to whatever. I'm just going to mess around because it's, you know, just a temporary thing here for this video. Okay, now right here, we don't want to create a virtual hard disk. We want to use an existing one because we're going to use the USB one we just made. So we're going to browse to that. And we don't have it in the list here, so we're going to have to... So we can't make that any bigger. There we go. We're going to add it. And there it is. And now you see it's not attached to anything because these are attached to other VMs and this one's not. So we're going to choose this one. 
And now it's down here. And we're just going to click on Create. OK, so now we have this USB VM created here. Let's go to the settings and look at the stores. I want to show you something here. So you want to make sure that this is at the top of the list so it boots off of it. And let's say you're going to um, install Windows 10. Not, you know, you're not just going to boot for some kind of utility on existing VM, but you want to install Windows 10. You're going to need to add an, another uh, hard drive to do that on. So let's call this Windows Drive. And we're just going to make it small for now. Create that. Okay, and then we'll choose it. So now we have the Windows Drive. So when we boot from the USB drive, we could use this to install it on. And like I said, keep make sure it's at the top of the list here. And I might have noticed I had this message here about this error, you know, not enough disk, free disk space, and so on. If you get this message when you boot your VM for this Windows 10 scenario, then try checking this box here. Use host IO cache in the settings for that particular VM. So we click OK. So now we have that ready. And so now if we start it, it should boot to our flash drive. So let's see what happens. So there we go. It's running the Windows startup like you would if you booted from an ISO file. And then you could go through and finish it from there and install your operating system. Yeah, so like I said, just look for the uh, description. It'll have a link to the article we did, kind of a step-by-step -step process here, and see how it works for yourself. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, thanks for watching.